we have a shootout for you today. This one is going to be huge. 4S power, seven scale, speed runs, drag racing. We got Onks versus SMC. We are gonna make some big, big power today. I am so excited for this. First up is the Onks 4S 8300. The 230 McCoy is supposed to be the real McCoy battery. This thing's been getting so much attention lately. I just got it in. This is really an exciting day for me. We're going head to head up against the tried and true. This has been the Speed King battery of choice, the SMC V3. This is also a 4S battery, 8600. Um, I am gonna tell you that as of this video, there is a V4 battery it's out. I don't have that yet, but we're gonna get it um, really soon and see how it compares. But in the meantime, this seems to be the most current battery on Onx Power Systems website. Um, we know that this thing has just been performing incredibly well, setting records in the, the top speed runs and the drag racing guys. So I think let's give it a head-to-head -head shootout. Let's see how they do. The new kid on the block versus um, the tried and true veteran SMC. I think this is gonna be a great one. Let's go make some power. Okay, here we are. You guys know the drill, 24 hours, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, storage charge. Let's see what the internal resistance is of each battery. We're gonna start with the SMC, and same thing, we're gonna plug in the power, and then we're going to plug in the balance port, and the balance port is actually where we get our resistance values from, and okay, so, Let's see if we can um, go over this. We got 0 0.68, 0 0.62, 0 0.74, 0 0.68. So pretty close to 0 0.7 across the board, 0 0.68, 0 0.62, 74, 68. So I'm gonna you know, say this average is about a 0 0.68 across the board for the SMC. We'll refresh it again, and you see we're still very similar numbers. Now let's move over to the onks. Here. And our onks is all right. We see it's really, really close. Zero point eight one six eight seven four eight one. Let's refresh. Okay, with a little bit of refresh. Seven four seven four seven one. 8.4, so really, really close. These two are really close. I'm expecting this to be quite a shootout. Let's see what they do on the dynamometer. Let's get them fully charged on our um, Q8 uh, Max ISDT chargers and head over straight to the dyno. Our Onx power systems, the 230 McCoy 8300 4S battery. Let's see how she does. Uh, I can tell you this is a powerful, powerful battery. Wow. So let's go over the numbers. On a fixed FDR of two to one, 100 millimeter wheel, we hit 158.58 miles per hour. We made 21.06 inch pounds of torque, 9.05 horsepower. 8,256 watts and 696 amps, okay? So we go to our power factor profile and it took 0 0.31 seconds to achieve our peak amps at 3.96 amps. And we held a voltage of each cell. This is the average of each cell. So we dipped down to 2.9 63 volts per cell. This is volts per cell. And then we have at a half second in some recovery at 668 amps. We recovered at 3.041 volts per cell. One second in, we're at 438 amps, 3.318 volts per cell. 
Two seconds into the run, 246 amps, 3.547 volts per cell. Three seconds into the run, 183 amps at 3.633 volts per cell. Now, some of you may be wondering why we do this in volts per cell, and I'm gonna tell you, it's going to make looking at multiple batteries a lot easier in the long run. So instead of having batteries that are at 14 volts and, or 7.4 volts or 22 volts, when we compare batteries at amps, we can see all of this data in voltage per cell. This is gonna tell us how good the cells are in each one of the batteries and then it lets us compare it because I can tell you there's gonna be a lot of batteries that are basically made from the exact same cells or just 2S, 4S, 6S. And when we go to compare these, the volts per cell will be a very useful um, factor. Well, here we go. And the results are, wow, everyone, I knew it was going to be close, and it is 165.00 miles an hour. If I remember correctly, I think our Onx hit 158. Again, this is for a fixed FDR of 2 to 1 with a 100 millimeter wheel. We made 21.35 inch pounds of torque. 9.54 horsepower, so almost a half a horsepower more. But wow, look at the watts. 9,133 watts, 719 amps peak. Let's look at our power factor profile. And you can see that, wow, this battery was amazing across the run. It got to peak amperage of 719 in 0.4 eight four seconds 719 amps at 3.176 volts per cell so if you remember on our onks we dropped down to 2.9 so more amperage at 719 and higher voltage and we're seeing we're holding 714 3.19 volts per cell 472 3.46 249 3. 671 and 182 3.736 volts per cell so i think clearly we have a winner in the smc but this was a tough fight this was a tough fight now i am going to say this is the smc v3 I have not had my chance to get my hands on the v4 yet but this onx battery so far this is the most current one on their website, it's the 230 McCoy. Um, it definitely is the real McCoy, but I think it fell a little short compared to the V3 SMC. Let's see uh, what happens when I get the V4, but wow, look at that, 165 miles an hour. This was really impressive, so impressive, everyone. I, I can't even begin to tell you just how crazy these things are in person to see and run on the dyno. Well, let's wrap it up. Wow, everyone, that was really, really exciting. Unbelievable power. I just have a hard time believing we're seeing so much power out of batteries these days. But with how popular top speed runs have been, how popular the eight scale and seven scale drag racing has been, we're seeing such amazing products coming into our RC community. And this is just a testament to the amazing manufacturers that are involved. They're putting out higher quality products every day and just making it better for us but i'm going to tell you um out of these two it was a close one i know this battery i was really expecting it to probably come out on top it's been so popular i've seen so many people running um this battery lately and um i knew it was going to be good but wow for the v3 smc to come out on top i can't wait to get my hands on the v4 Again, kind of like last time, I did um, tests at lower amperage. We'll, we'll go over that right now. But we're starting to see a pattern here where the batteries that just have lower resistance are just coming out on top. You remember when we did the resistance test? These were really, really close. Our SMC was around a 7.0 and our Onx was about 
a tenth of a milliohm across the board higher. Both were really low. I mean, to have sub one milliohms across the board, and these were like, you know, 0 0.8 to 0 0.7 and then 0 0.7 to 0.6s. Wow, that's really, really impressive. But I gotta say, um, just so impressed, but this is the V3. Can't wait to get the hands on the V4. But um, for those who are interested, I'll go over some of the numbers on the lower loads. And it was very similar across the board uh, where we saw the SMC coming out um, on top. So let's go to our test files, forest tests. And uh, so on our low amp sweep, so first we're gonna pull up our onks at 100 amps and what we're going to see is hardly any difference between the two batteries at 100 amps they did amazing at holding voltage um hardly any horsepower 1.2 horsepower these batteries were holding four volts across the board let me load up the smc at 100 amps so 1.2 horsepower 4.0 volts and same thing at 100 amps 1.2 horsepower on the smc 4.0 volts across the board. Now, when we get up to 250 amps, we're starting to see a little bit of an edge to the SMC. So here we got our onks at uh, 3.68 horsepower with uh, 3.7, 3.8 volts per cell across the board. So 3.68 horsepower and our 250 amp test on the SMC is 3.79, so about a tenth of a horsepower. Same thing, 3.8, but we're starting to see 3.9, 3 to 40 volts across the run. That's per cell again. And when we get to a 450 amp test on the onx, 6.28 horsepower. And you kind of see that, you know, this is about what it was happiest with when I really loaded it. Um, more than that, I started to kind of pull the onx down from where it was happy, but. Um, 6.28 horsepower at 450 amps and the SMC at 450 amps was 6.77 horsepower. So see the SMC just had more room when we put the dyno to its max, max capacity. So I'd say up to about 450 amps, you know, the batteries are pretty happy, but when you're just pushing everything out of it, and it was pretty clear to me, that um, the SMC was the winner. And you see that, you know, on the SMC, when we maxed out, we had 160 miles an hour. That's 128 miles an hour. So I'd probably say the ceiling for this battery, 450 volt uh, amps, and you're good when you're trying to get into that six, 700 amp range. Um, this particular battery wasn't, um, just wasn't holding it. It's uh, for whatever they're doing, but nonetheless, really impressive. Wow, I mean, I can't wait to see more of these speed run batteries come through. Well, thank you again, everyone. Please like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. And I'm so very appreciative of this community we have out here. And I do this for you guys so you guys can make the best decisions and go fast. So let's go fast, everyone. See you on the next one.